What is the positive solution to the given equation? So we have this equation here with absolute values and we need to find a solution that is positive. So this is the equation 2 times the absolute value of 4 minus x plus 3 times the absolute value of 4 minus x which equals 25. So we can see that this quantity right here, the 4 minus x, is common to both these terms. So we can just factor these out. So we'll factor out the 4 minus x. And so then we'll multiply it with the two coefficients, 2 and 3. So we could just add these two, the 2 and 3 together to get 5 times this absolute value of 4 minus x equals 25. You could have just skipped from this step to this line here by just adding them together as if they were like like terms. Since both of these have this quantity, absolute value of 4 minus x, you could just add the coefficients together, kind of like adding like terms together. Okay, so now that we, ha we have this, we can start isolating for x. So the first thing we want to do is divide both sides by 5. That'll get rid of this 5 here. So 5 over 5 is just 1, so changes nothing. So absolute value 4 minus x over on this side. And then 25 mi divided by 5 is just 5. Okay, now that we've gotten to this step, we can use the absolute value property to notice that this is the same as two equations. The first one is 4 minus x equals 5 and the second one is that 4 minus x equals negative 5. So when 4 minus x equals 5, so this quantity inside the absolute value, and the absolute value of 5 is just 5. So the equation will end with 5 equals 5. So that satisfies the equation. But then 4 minus x equals negative 5. So when the quantity in here equals negative 5, the absolute value of a negative number is just its positive uh, version. So absolute value of negative 5 is just 5. So then 5 equals 5, and the equation is still true. OK, so now we can just solve for the value of x in both of these equations. So the first equation says that the, abs the value of x is equal to negative 1 since 4 minus negative 1 is just at 4 plus 1, so 4 plus 1 equals 5. And then the second equation says that the value of x is, neg is 9, because 4 minus 9 is equal to negative 5. Okay, so now we have two solutions, x equals negative 1 and x equals 9. But the problem asks for the positive solution. So we just use the x equals 9 solution since 9 is positive and not the x equals negative 1 since negative 1 is negative. So the answer is 9.